Okay, so we're gonna do the exercise six. So first, and A, you're going to listen to Josico, Diego, and Susan talking about their school experiences and answer the questions, the three questions over here. So the question number one is, what example does Josico give for how she is typical? In what way is she different? Okay, that's question number one. Now, question number two, what are the three ways that Diego's life is typical? In what way doesn't he follow the crowd? And finally, question number three, that Suzanne gave an example of how her life is unconventional. If so, what is it? Okay, now we're going to listen to the track and check our questions and the answers. Unit nine, generally speaking. Lesson A, page 72. Exercise six, how are they different? Part A. Listen to Yoshiko, Diego, and Suzanne talking about their school experiences. Answer the questions. One, Yoshiko. In some ways, small ways, I'm just a typical Japanese teenager. I go to high school five days a week, just like everyone else. I have interests similar to most of my friends. A bunch of us join the sports club at school. Right now, it's our volleyball season. When the weather gets nicer, we'll start track. And oh, I love hip hop music. It drives my parents crazy. There's one big way I'm different though. I spent almost six years living outside Japan. My father's company transferred him overseas to Mexico. And of course we went with him. Fitting into a foreign culture was really tough at first, but I guess I'm lucky in the way. I learned to speak Spanish fluently, and I met a lot of good friends there. We still email each other almost every day. So you can see that I'm really quite a bit different from my classmates. Two, Diego. I don't know, my life is pretty typical, I think. I head off to school at seven in the morning and school finishes early afternoon. After school, I usually study or play sports. On weekends, I like to get together with my friends. We usually hang out in one of the shopping malls. Everyone just shows up there on Saturdays and Sundays. It's a lot of fun, most of the time. I think one way I'm kind of different is that I like to do my own thing sometimes. I don't always want to hang out with the group, you know? My friends always want me to hang out with them, but I don't always listen to what they say. I guess you could say that I think for myself. Sometimes it makes my friends upset, but too bad. That's just the way I am. But really, overall, I think I'm pretty typical for my age. Three, Suzanne. I guess I worry about the same things other kids my age do. You know, grades and getting along with my parents and stuff like that. I guess I'm doing okay in school, but I have to study really hard. I just want to make sure that my grades are good enough so I can get into a decent university. I'm pretty much like everyone else. I go to classes, attend club meetings after school, and then do my homework at night. Weekends are great because I get to sleep late. And, uh, oh yeah, I'm also a member of the orchestra at school. I play the violin. My school is a little different from most schools in the U.S., though. We study all the core subjects, like most other students. In the morning, science, math, English, history, the usual stuff. But unlike most schools, we study things like music, dance, and art in the afternoon. See, I go to a special school for the arts. A lot of us have dreams of becoming dancers or singers someday. That's why we spend so much time learning the arts. So yeah, I guess my life is pretty different from most kids my age. Okay. So we're gonna check the answer. Do you get one of the answers? Yes. Okay. Yeah, the, the last answer. one. Okay, the, the last one. How about number one? Do you check number one? I got number one, but it's okay. not very concrete. Okay, just exactly. let's check number one, okay? So the first question is, what example does Jessica give for how she is typical? How is she typical? Give me a um, she's typical because she wakes up in the morning and goes to high school and does her homework. 
but in a way she's different is because she speaks Spanish fluently and talks with her friends she made that speak, that speak Spanish in email every day. That's very good. Excellent answer. Okay, good. How about Diego? How's Diego uh, typical? I have... Uh, the typical thing, he gets up to him at school in the morning. He plays sport in the afternoon. And the different thing is that he tries to do his own thing in the most of the time because he do not uh, mm -hmm. have a good conversation with their friends. Okay, good, excellent. And I, think, I think I, I listen something about the mall. Yeah, go on, tell me. No, but I the the first question about Diego is that what are three ways the that Diego's life is typical? So yeah. I'd say two ones. Um, he go to school. What yeah. was the other? What was the other one? He goes to school at seven every morning. He studies or plays sport after school. It's another. And, and I think I think the last one was uh, that he go with his friends or something like okay, that. He likes to all. get together with your friends. That's very typical, okay? And the, the different, yeah, uh, he likes to do his own things by himself. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. Okay, good. And the last one, Suzanne. How oh, Suzanne, okay, unconventional, okay. Really no. Is she convention unconventional? Or no? Yes, in some, yes. In some part, because she studied her really hard and she studied all the team. But the different thing is that in her school, they practice more than on assign, uh, a assignment and for science, the second one is math and they compare something with the other classes. Okay, excellent, very good. Yeah, um, her school at uh, the afternoon, uh, they, have to have a music, art, and dance. Okay, good, excellent. It's yep. It's raining. Yeah, it's raining here too. I'm afraid that maybe we no. can, when it rains, the internet connection. Okay, it isn't from... raining in my house. Here it's raining. In my house, it's raining too. It isn't raining it in is, my it's house. It's heavy rain. <laughs> It's heavy raining. Okay, good. That's a mirror. Okay, Let's go. Yeah. Let's continue with the class. Okay, now I'm going to explain what you're going to do. You're going to do this after the break time too. So do you going to, okay, um, do you tend to go with the flow or be your own person? Okay, so you're going to answer this question so you're on in the break time. Are your interests similar to those of your friends and family or different? Explain in which way or what way. In what ways do you clothes you wear made you stand out or fit in? Okay. And the number three, how does your taste in music compare to that of older people your age? Okay. Entonces, la primera es los intereses. Los intereses tuyos, ¿cómo son en comparación con los de tus amigos teacher, y familia? Yep. Teacher, the last one for me is very easy. But yeah. Very okay, it's about music. Okay, good. Yeah, okay. So the first one is interest. The second one is clothes, and the last one is taste in music. How are they different with your friends and family? Okay, do you understand okay. the activity? Yes. Okay, good. Now let's go to the next activity. Okay, good. So it's here. It's in pairs. Supporting statements and develop the topic sentence by providing. Teacher. Yep. Teacher. Yes. What did you say about the point C that is a paperwork? Oh, yeah, that is a homework. Okay, so for till till now so far we got exercise one B. It's a homework or uh, yes, a homework. We're gonna check after the break time. And the second one is to see. That's where I'm gonna write it down in the, in the WhatsApp group, okay? If you get confused. Okay, now we're gonna do this activity, okay? So read the paragraph, what's the topic sentence? On the line three supporting statements that develop the main idea in the topic sentence and then compare your answer, okay? So first we're gonna read the paragraph, okay? I don't know who wants to help me, who wants to read the paragraph? Quien quiere leerlo? Who say me? Me, Ana Sofia. Okay, Ana. Okay. 
Okay. Yeah. Unconventionally me. cool, trend spotter Josie Vichy. My yeah. June 13. My friend just said, <laughs> Perdón. My friend just said, <laughs> Don't really like to follow the crowd. While most of us are trying our best to fit in with everyone else, Josie likes to be her own person. For instance, she has her own unique sense of fashion. So she likes to buy all her clothes except for her shoes in used clothing shops. Her taste in music is also pretty unconventional. Unlike most of my friends, she can't stand pop music. She prefers to listen to Philippine and Andean folk music. She also has a very interesting job. Like her old 9 to 5 job in a conservative department store, she now works as a trend spotter for an advertising company. This means that she spends her time looking at the latest fashion and entertainment trends among young people. Then she writes reports for, for her company about what's in style. This makes my unconventional friend a trendsetter that order follows, and that is pretty cool. Okay, excellent. So what we're gonna do now is check what's the main idea and what are the supporting ideas, okay? ¿Cuál es la idea principal y cuáles son las ideas que soportan esa idea principal? So what's the main idea? Unconventional. Okay, yes, that's the main idea. My friend Josie Boucher doesn't like to follow the crowd. And what are the supporting ideas? Maybe she can uh, stand for music. Uh, she prefer listen to Billy and Andrea for music. She have an interesting job. Um, she work in a transport and an amazing company and things like this. I okay. mean the, the the last thing. Excellent. That was good. Okay, the class is almost over, so we're going to uh, break up right now, and then we come.